Hey guys, welcome to Fraser Breweries and episode 2 of Beer Nuts. Okay, today I have two products which I'd like to talk about, which you will see on screen now. Okay, product one is PBW. It's essentially the same as Nappy Sam. Uh, it's an oxy cleaner. I use this to clean both my fermenters and my brew pot. I've only just started using it probably about two months now. Um, before I was just essentially washing it with hot water. Um, but since using this I've found it's a lot better. Yeah, if you have any like krausen that's gone a bit hard because you've left it in the fermenter a bit long, um, once soaked with this, just wipes it straight out. Um, also, it's great on the brew pot once you've finished um, your brew, it's in the fermenter. Just go use 5 grams, fill the brew pot, let it soak for half hour, tip it out, wipe it out. Any gunk in there comes straight out, and then I just rinse it with water to get the, because it leaves like a slippery residue, um, hot water, gets that straight out. Okay, um, same with the fermenter, just fill up half a fermenter, dump in 5, 10, 15 grams of the PBW, just give the fermenter a good shake, let it sit for half hour, give it another shake, Krause and ring comes straight out, um, so yeah, the only downside is it's not cheap. So, okay, on to product two. Now, most home brewers have noticed Star Sand. I've been using this bottle for just over a year now. It's an 8 ounce. I think it was about $24 for the 8 ounce. Um, so economical, this stuff. I only have to use 1.5 ml per litre of water. So, what I do is you, I've got a, like a little syringe, just fill it up with 6 ml of the Star Sand, dump it in 4 litres of water. Give it a little bit of a mix, boom, I've got Starzan mixed up to the correct proportions and there's enough there as long as it doesn't get any, any bits floating about on it for at least a couple of brews. Also, fill up a spray bottle, which is for when I quickly need to sanitise something, just grab the spray bottle, give it a little bit of a spray. Um, the stuff lasts quite a long time, but they do say if it goes cloudy it has lost any of its um, sterilization properties which you can check with pH sticks I think it's got to be below three and a half or below five I'd have to double check but I'll get back to you on the next episode okay quickly before I go I have tried two of the beers both the beers from the monasteries this is your French one this is your Belgian one Essentially, they're both the same. The dark, strong ale. So this one is nine percent, and this one is eight percent. Um, they're they're basically like a beer I've never tried before. It was more of a fruity, toffee kind of beer. They had a unique taste, but to me, they both tasted exactly the same. Um, even though one's from France and one's from Belgium different monasteries but hey they were, all I can say is they were nice um, but this one I, I usually use my bottles to chuck my home brewing but this one came with a cork so that's just going to go up in the bottle collection but I will use this one even though it's only a 330 ml bottle anyway just a quick one today thanks for watching be sure to check out my Facebook page which is www.facebook.com slash Fraser Breweries. Um, please like, subscribe to my channel. All my videos go up on my Facebook page as well, as well as extra stuff I post. Um, Till next time, 17, cheers. Have another home brew, guys. <laughs>